working on Money Matters. Americans are drinking less milk but can't get enough cheese. And U.S. foreclosure activity dropped to a 10-year low last year. Jane King's joining us now live from the NASDAQ with those stories and more in this morning's Money Matters report. Good morning to you, Jane. Happy Friday. Foreclosures are way down. How's Florida doing? Way down, down 14% compared to 2015. So that's a 10-year low nationwide. By the way, all this according to Adam Data Solutions, U.S. Foreclosure Market Report. Now, foreclosures down in Florida, too. The state, though, still has the fourth highest rate in the nation. New Jersey was number one. Uh, the majority of Floridians have some plans to travel this year. Yeah, looks like 2017 will be a busy year for travel for most Floridians. AAA found 75% of state residents are planning to take a vacation this year, most planning trips to warm weather destinations in the U.S. and abroad. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jane, Americans have Everybody been drinking, loves that. right? <laughs> Has been, have been drinking less milk? Why? Uh, they have been. Well, this has been like a multi-decade situation that's going on, but dairy farmers not really worried about that uh, because we're eating way more cheese uh, than we have been over the past few years. Uh, so uh, the um, average, we eat twice as much cheese every year as Americans did in 1980. About 35 pounds a year is what the average American will eat in cheese. So mm. uh, much of that on pizza, I'm sure. <laughs> and, and still to come in the next study, the impact of drinking less milk on Oreo consumption. <laughs> yeah, really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jane. For Girl Scout cookies. Thanks. Have a good weekend.